Hey gang, it's your old buddy Platt, and today I'm going to show you how to make cookie butter cream liqueur. So let's go. So as many of you that may watch the channel know, I get some random uh, bits of inspiration for some of the different things I make. Well, this uh, episode is not much different. Uh, I was recently talking to a guest of mine, my cocktail waitress, and somehow cooking had come up or whatever, and we talked about Nutella. Now I told her I'd made a Nutella cream liqueur, which you can find in my liqueur making uh, playlist. And she was like, oh my God, you're, you're kidding. Then I explained, she goes, hey, have you tried cookie butter? I'm like, cookie butter, what are you talking about? I, to be honest, I'd never heard of it before. But she explained it to me and told me about it and said that I guess Trader Joe's makes this unbelievable cookie butter. And my cocktail waitress was like, oh yeah, yeah, it's great. And So I started asking around. I, I heard about it and I thought, well, all right, this is a challenge. Now i got to figure out what this stuff is, get some, and more importantly, see if I can uh, make some kind of liqueur, spirit, something with it. So that's what we're doing here today. Uh, we're going to make a cookie butter cream liqueur. Um, I had found me some of the Bischoff, Biscoff uh, cookie butter. Gave it a little taste, and it is some hybridish of a Nutella peanut butter. Um, it tastes kind of like um, nutter butter in a spread. I guess the best way to describe it. So I thought I would do what kind of do a similar thing I did with Nutella. And we'll make a, a cream-based liqueur. Uh, what we're going to need for this, pretty simple, we're obviously going to need some uh, cookie butter, um, a little bit of vanilla extract. Uh, I'm going to use vodka as our base spirit. Um, we're going to shoot for about a 40 proof uh, liqueur. We don't want to get this too high. Just something nice, sweet, and uh, very drinkable. I, I'm not trying to hurt anybody with this. Um, a little uh, sugar. Um, we're going to aim for a quart, so a quart batch. So I got a one quart jar and some heavy whipping cream, which I have in the refrigerator. Uh, now that I got everything we need to make our liqueur, let's go ahead and make our cookie butter cream liqueur. All right, gang, a real quick rundown of our recipe or the exact me measurements. Um, we're going to start off um, in a little. Uh, this is a. I want to say a one quart pot or whatever, a uh, little small saucepan. We're going to start off with a teaspoon of vanilla extract. All right, dump that in there. Then we're going to add half a cup of sugar. We're going to add one and a quarter cups of heavy whipping cream. Uh, you'll definitely want a handy spatula around to get all that out. All right. There. Then we're going to need about three quarters of a cup of our cookie butter. Um, this is a 14 ounce jar, so uh, not quite half the container of cookie butter. Now this is thick stuff here, so we're going to slowly uh, incorporate it into our mixture here. Yeah, that's about right. Again, have this handy uh, spatula. Perfect. And we're going to go ahead and turn on the heat. We're going to turn it on lower because we're going to want to eventually get this up to simmer um, while we're heating up this mixture. 
we're going to slowly uh, whisk, get the sugar incorporated. Um, obviously, the uh, cookie butter's thick. So, uh, we're going to eventually want to get this to the consistency of a, a melted milkshake. Uh, best way to think of it. Uh, by heating this up, it's going to help incorporate the sugars and the ingredients together. Um, you want to, I advise you using a whisk, it'll just make your life a little bit easier. And uh, eventually, once we get this all integrated, we'll come back and add two cups of vodka. Again, you never want to add the spirit while you're heating something because, again, alcohol has a lower boiling point than uh, water does. So we're going to keep working this in. Once you get it thoroughly worked in, we're going to let this get up to simmer. Once we get a slow simmer going, then we're going to go ahead and take it off the heat, then add our vodka. So let me get this finished up, let it cool down, add our two cups of vodka. We'll go ahead and bottle it and then come back to taste it. All right, so we're here to wrap up. Uh, we've ended up with one quart of our cookie butter cream liqueur. Let's quickly go over the recipe. Three quarters cup of cookie butter, a half a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one and a quarter cups of our heavy whipping cream. We do that in a little saucepan, blend all the uh, ingredients together, heat it up to a simmer, once we uh, get everything incorporated in a nice smooth consistency, we will turn off the heat, let it cool, and then add two cups of vodka. And that gets us uh, one quart of 40 proof cookie butter cream liqueur. Now since we're adding heavy whipping cream to this, uh, you'll need to keep this in the refrigerator. And it'll be good for about three weeks, even though there's alcohol in it. Um, after about three weeks, you might be gambling a little bit on it. So, this, like I said, this is good for about three weeks. Enough talking. Let's try our cookie butter cream liqueur. Right. Smells like cookies. Let's give her a try. <laughs> I don't always hit home runs, but I do hit home runs. That is good. That is, again, you definitely get the uh, the cookie taste. Um, yeah, that is just liquid cookie, <laughs> for lack of a better word. That is, that is real good. You get you get a little bit of a uh, ginger and cinnamon and uh, just the bready notes. You know those. Those classic kind of uh, dry sugar cookies or whatever, um, we happen to have it in liquid form. Uh, like I said, this is a winner. Uh, remember, three weeks, keep in the refrigerator. And uh, it will be a hit at your next party. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe down below. Also, please like the video because it lets YouTube know we're putting out good content. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comment section, or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Till next time, bottoms up.